Center plan would include the demolition and replacement of the John Marshall Courts building downtown. Where it will be rebuilt is still up for debate. Last week, the Richmond Bar Association had safety concerns and felt left out of the preliminary plans. The city says the building would need more than $18 million in renovations, which is a quarter of what the complex is actually worth today. A final plan is expected in the fall. A public feud between Richmond police and their chief is coming to a head tonight. First, it was billboards saying public safety is in jeopardy due to understaffing. Now the head of the city's public safety committee wants a report on the mayor's security detail, which is made up of RPD officers. Richmond reporter Henry Graff is live at police headquarters tonight downtown with this story. Henry, what's the latest? Mickey, good evening. Yeah, City Councilor Reva Trammell right now wants that report next month. She's questioning why the mayor still has a security detail at this point in time and if it's affecting operations here at RPD as RPD is looking to fill a lot of vacancies. You know, the mayor, I don't know, you know, the mayor has security 24-7. A talk about Richmond police pay and staffing issues quickly turned into something else Tuesday afternoon. He has police 24-7 that the citizens are saying, why is that happening when we don't have enough police officers? I said, it's not my call. And I don't even know if it's the police chief's call. During a public safety committee meeting, police chief Gerald Smith did not answer questions about the detail. RPD confirms it does provide security for the mayor and has since last summer. Meanwhile, Chief Smith took his time to address morale and pay concerns. We are doing the best that we can here internally and doing what we can to up, up, keep our officers making sure that their wellness is in play as well. Two billboards, including one in front of headquarters, remind the chief about the issues facing his department. The Richmond Coalition of Police put them up, saying the city's safety is at risk. Starting pay for police in Richmond is about $9,000 less than neighboring departments. The department is also contending with more than 60 vacancies. Doing nothing is a minus. It's a negative because it's going to just increase the gap. That's on top of everything that was going on with, you know, the conflict and protest and the stress of all of that. Officers will get a small pay increase starting in October, approved by city council. The group also has a study underway right now to review police salaries. The chief will go before that committee again next month for an update on the salary situation and improving relations. We're doing all we can to support the officers. I just know that being in Gilpin community, um, there has to be some other way that we reapproach this um, to rebuild the trust. Back after live, back to the security detail question. No real comment from City Hall other than to point out the fact that they say it wasn't necessary because if you recall, armed protesters actually got into the lobby of the mayor's apartment complex last summer. We are live and on your side tonight here at Richmond Police Headquarters. I'm Henry Graff, NBC 12 News. Thanks, Henry.